It is the first time in history that Burundi has had a government for over 10 years without war. However, the country is still struggling to recover from the unrest of 2015 by revitalizing the economy, which is the smallest in East Africa. The European Union and other countries from the West slapped sanctions on Burundian government, accusing it of atrocities against humanity. The government of Burundi is now focusing on empowering the youth, who comprise over 70% of the entire population. Some of the youth are making it without the support of government. This is a group called Imbonakure, in Kirundi, meaning those that see far. We drove to Nsanzamahor in Ngozi province, where we met Imbonakure Sylvester Nduwaho, who is a farmer. Sylvester Nduwa is part of the 42 Mbonerakure youths who came together within this village and they would go to different parts of the area to dig for money in order to raise capital to start up a cattle keeping project. And so far, within less than two years, they have six cows. And it is something that they want to replicate in all the 13 provinces within Burundi to ensure they empower the youth so that they do not expect much from the West in terms of handouts. We are happy that the youth are now hardworking. The perception has been that youth are criminals, but today we are involved in income generating farming. In Makamba, the locals have managed to contribute towards the construction of a palace of resistance, a sign that they can do much without aid from the West. Every person contributed at least 1,000 francs towards completion of the building. When the 200 rooms are finished, the building will host government offices. Also, the stadium in Makamba is being constructed by Burundians who dedicate their free time without pay. In order to motivate the youth, government organizes Imbonakure Youth Day in August every year. Thousands trickle to Masanga Zirakirembe commune to take part in the celebration. The function attracted youths from Kenya, Sudan, DR Congo, Tanzania, Zambia, and Congo Brazzaville. We try them to, to be at the as, as, as we are now and um, our planning is to do how the Tanzanian are doing and uh, Uganda are doing and all of the East African community are doing. Uh, our ruling party, the youth is given a huge role to play uh, in decision making positions so that's empowering the youth. I'm very proud of being in Mbonerakure because I can contribute to the development of my party and of my, my country. The economy is not doing so well. How are you going to survive without the West? You have toured all over the country. You came from Bujumbura, now you are here in Ngozi. You can see that Burundians are still living. They are still standing. But what did the youths from other countries make of the day? Uh, my name is Faith Njuguna from Kenya and uh, it's my first time here in Burundi and it's really really amazing. I love Burundi. Burundians are very friendly. I'm really impressed. And about the youth, the youth are amazing and whatever they are doing, they're doing great and if they continue like this they're going to make Africa great. In Congo we are, we, we liked our country but Mbonakore is a very, very patriotic young man. Although the youths are struggling to be self-employed, support from government is pivotal in transforming the youth in Burundi. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV Bujumbura.